Hey guys, Crystal here. So we just got to the LA area. We could not find a campground within our budget and our budget was pretty small anyways. So it was a bit unrealistic to think that we could really find anything in this area that <laughs> we could afford. So if one, a, a distant relative has kindly offered us to uh, stay at their house. So that's what we are doing and we're really excited to be here and really excited to just bond with family and get to know them better and, and hang out and stuff, so that's cool. But in the meantime, there was literally no, no spot or, or anyone that we knew in this area where we could just put our RV at, like in their driveway or stuff. If you guys ever been to this area, it's pretty cramped. I mean, there's not a lot of storage space in driveways or garages or just yard in general. And there's not really too much country out here. So it's all very city-like. Um, and the area that we're staying at is, is about six miles from downtown Los Angeles. If, if that gives you an idea. I found this place online and as I was scrambling through things and I chose this this storage place uh, because they were the least expensive and they were having like a move-in special for storing your RV or whatever you wanted to store here. So here is our home and this is a storage unit. So it's like a storage facility, but they have lots and lots of room to put RVs at. So this was the best bet for us. It was the absolute cheapest. And I think it was just a really wise decision instead of trying to find a campground and paying way more. Just so you know, the, the guy here, we were supposed to get a move-in special that was really cheap uh, t for one month to stay here it was like uh, well to store our RV here is like hundred and seventy eight dollars so <clears throat> not bad to store your RV here however uh, there was a glitch in the system and there and I was supposed to have a move-in special that was supposed to be a lot cheaper well the manager could not find it and he's like you know what no problem he's like you know what let's just make it 50 bucks even so you can keep your RV here for uh, a month just for 50 bucks you know and and I was like um Yes, yes, thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. I will totally take you up on that. So it, it's $50 to keep it here for one month. We, now we are not staying the entire month. The whole thing was is we wanted to be here one week. Uh, well, less than a week actually. And just spend time with some people that we haven't seen in a really long time. Technically I am paid for a whole month, but he knows that we're only gonna be here uh, a week, which is cool. So there is security cameras everywhere. There's security guards that drive around this place. And there is a person who lives on the site. It's all gated and all electric. And so I feel really safe and really pleased about the RV staying here and it being safe. And we do lock it up and everything. Now, since it is stored here, I did end up disconnecting both the batteries because I didn't want it to drain while we were here. The propane, of course, is shut off and I took everything out of the refrigerator and took it over to uh, where we're staying at so that it wouldn't go bad while it was in here. And then I propped the refrigerator open just a little bit so airflow could get in there and it wouldn't be stale and musty and also so it could defrost and everything because it hasn't been to defrosted in probably like two months and we're basically just going to chill at the place that we're at and uh, hang out with family so that is the goal is to not spend any money and to just have good quality time with people so it'll be good but just want to let you guys know that this is where we're at. Well, I'm very happy that, that we did this and uh, it's a lot, lot cheaper than getting a campground in this area. If you guys are ever in a big city, expensive area and you can't afford it, hopefully you guys have know someone that you can crash at for a while so you can see the surrounding area. But all right, guys, I will talk to you later and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I love you all. Goodbye.